Hey everybody, my name's Jeremy. Welcome to the show. This is a look at a slightly different game than I usually live stream. This is a retro Japanese RPG or role-playing game tactics slash uh, different. Uh, this is sort of in the vein of those over-the-top games like Disgaea from, you know, pre-2000 era kind of fun. Um, over-the-top action that kind of gets crazy with the with the damage points and whatnot. I'm just uh, getting set with the uh, adjusting the uh, background music and sound effects. If you have any problem with uh, sound levels, let me know, and I'll get those fixed as best I can. This is the second playthrough, so. Uh, if you haven't yet, you'll have to go back and see my first playthrough, which I did crop to make it easier um, on you, because the first playthrough had a couple little snags. Nothing too bad. But here we are. We're heading to the west. And we're getting a new cutscene right off the bat. We don't want to skip it. Hey, where are you going? Aren't we going to go beat up on that, you know, the world something? What? You're not chickening out, are you? You're actually just in time, really, if you're uh, wanting to just dive into the story part of this. We're really pretty much the, at the beginning, although there was a lot of intro stories in part one, so you might want to see all of that. Don't forget, Lena entrusted you with all that power. What, that old hag? Bullshit. It's my power, not hers. And it's not free, either. <laughs> There's actually a ton of voiceover in this um, in this game, and I can't remember. I have to check my box now for the original, but there might have been an option for Japanese or English di dialogue, just like the original Disgaea had. Huh? Why are you talking so strange? But uh, this one, the English is actually very good in this one, I think. Anyway, listen, I made a promise, and we've always been taught that it's wrong to break a promise, right? Now, if that way goes to the city, then this way will take us straight to the enemy, right? So, let's just go this way, okay? Sharp as a whip, isn't she? Snap out of it! Let's go! Why are you so weird sometimes? Fine. I'll go by myself if I have to. I don't need your help. I'll just get all the glory myself. <laughs> Seriously? What a dumbass! How could one little girl ever hope to take down one of my world eaters? Huh? Hey, kid. You're gonna go after all? You don't have to worry about me. I can take care of myself. But if you really want to help, I guess I can't stop you from following me. Now, let's go find that whirly thingy. Honestly, is she always this idiotic? Your childhood must have been a real nightmare. So... This is um, early on in the in in just getting the ball rolling after much of the tutorial introductions, and we're about to see where we have one of our choices.
this is that... thing? It's so... so... big. That was a real ball buster, huh? Hey, kid, you got my body all banged up. Hey, why do you keep muttering to yourself? I think your brain must be running on empty. Ha! <laughs> She's one to talk, huh? Go ahead, I know you want to say it. Don't try to deny it. I know exactly how you feel, believe me. What the heck? Where's that incredibly annoying voice coming from? Wait, it's coming from you! Oh. My. God, is it him? Hey, looks like I can finally make my voice be heard. Hey, stupid cow. Don't go around calling me him. The name's Gig. How could you forget? You know, the totally indestructible, unbelievably cool guy that took over your friend's body? Remember? Huh? Gag? So, who are you again? Who am I? Didn't you hear a word I just said? At least you could have listened to that dried-up crone you love so much. Gang? You gotta be kidding! I mean, I've met some real nutbags in my life, but you really take the cake. How dare you! I just... have a little problem with names, okay? No, your problem is you're a retard. She's just a little inept. Please, look there. That is the World Eater of Raid. It no longer stirs, but I believe it yearns for life. Can you kill it? It has a squad of warriors guarding it, so we can't even get close. Those men are incredibly powerful. We have no chance without a well-armed force of our own. Are you saying I can't handle it? Well, perhaps. If you were to regain your lost strength, that is. All in due time. Regardless, I expect much of you. The bandaged Certainly man. So. In other news, we have reports that a certain woman is in hiding nearby. She hasn't attempted any major movements, but she appears to be searching for the Avatar. I have a contact on the inside, so I receive constant updates. If anything changes, I'll let you know immediately. It's in our best interest to watch this situation closely, and act as soon as an opportunity presents itself. You there! With the sword! Drop your weapons and stand down! You too, Sep girl! What do you think you're doing? Uh-oh, busted. Hey kid, I think he wants to play. Huh? Oh, for a second I thought I saw someone else. No matter! You two are acting mighty suspicious. Just what are you doing here? Hey, you talking to us? Well, uh, <clears throat> we're here to take down that world thingy. You mean the world eater? Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Just the two of you. You got it! <laughs> it's just stupid! How rude! We're... I have no time for such lunacy. You, get rid of these miscreants! Uh-oh. Yes, sir. 
might have a fight on our hands. Hey, get your filthy hands off of me! Sorry, I can't let you near that creature. I have no reason to believe you would stand any chance against it. I need you to leave now! <laughs> he wants to try and kick us out? Brainless fool. Hell, I'll barely break a sweat against this guy. A good chance to see how rusty I am, I guess. Time to show you what a real god can do. All right, let's see. Oh, we're not done with tutorials after all. Oh. Okay, this is squad summoning. So, your, your attributes are basically attached to stamina, which is kind of a, which probably would upset a lot of people, but it's not that big of a deal, really. Uh, it is a, I mean, it is something that you end up paying a lot of attention to, but it doesn't become like an annoyance. So here we are on the world map, we've got, we can take a quick peek to determine uh, how many people are in each squad for, of our enemy, just one guy there, one guy, guy there, this guy he's the whatever, Captain Galahad or just Galahad, these guys are one guy each. This is the very beginning, so it's not... I mean, we basically just need to move in. Take them out. Oh, looks like we might have um, ourselves a little issue. Oop, not too bad. Let's do it! Let's do it! We'll just hit him head on. Now we could go into the uh, rocks, which will affect our movement a bit, but we're going to hit this guy. From behind, sort of. I can't remember if facing on the world map matters. Because like, most tactic games it does matter, but I can't remember if it matters on the overworld map maps for Soul Nomad.
we are movements cut big time. I don't even think we can go on the peaks. I'm gonna try to go around. So we're earning the GP for killing, and we'll earn, we can earn bonus GP too for whole battle defeats and how well we do. If I remember right, GP doesn't become a very big concern ever, especially especially after you do like a second playthrough. Well, I don't know if I pointed this out, but we can take a peek at his room. He's got, uh, two items, two decor items on his room, dog pile and utter guard. And we can take a look at, uh, his skill list here. So he's got Valiant, which increases defense, here to increase attack defense, and here to increase defense. That's not too shabby, especially later on in the game. Uh, some uh, stat bonuses like this are, are pretty helpful. So, it looks like we can't go there. It looks like we're going to be defending. And you know what, I'm thinking facing doesn't matter now on the overworld. I'll have to double check my manual. And if I remember right, we get Sir Galahad, or just Galahad. We get him and he becomes part of our uh, ever-growing army. Ooh, we can use Demon Blast just for fun. So pretty much every aspect of strategy and fighting in this game has the ability to like be leveled and manipulated in multiple ways. It just adds to how over the top you can get in the game. Impossible! There's no way such rabble could... I suppose I'll have to let my commander deal with you. You must retreat for now. Bunch of pansies. These are the guys in charge of guarding this place? Yeah, you talk big, but you only won thanks to me. Even so, I still can't unleash my full power with such a weak body. That's my biggest concern. But now the real fight begins. You ready, soulmate? Okay, that world thingy is up next on the chopping block. You ready for this? Okay. So if I remember right, we can leave. See, I can't remember now. It's been so long since my first time I played this. 
We'll just find out. The joy of rediscovering a favorite game. Okay, let's go kill the world thingy! World Eater! God, how can you forget something so important? We got these guys to take care of, which aren't really a big problem. And they're real close here. There's going to be a there's going to be an early moment here where we can choose whether to use Gig's power or not. And really this early in the game, you can actually end the game like by using all of Gig's power pretty much. You know up this close, it looks kind of tough. Of course it's tough. After all, it used to serve none other than yours truly. But hell, I can whip its ass no problem. Huh? Here it comes. Watch out! Hey, aren't those the jerks from before? strong guys and went after them first which means there's at least a few guys left that aren't totally worthless but it looks like they didn't want to stay for a second round they're gone already hell of a lot stronger than you that's for sure you have no idea how to use my power right pretty much the best you can hope for is to get lucky and unlock a tiny portion of my godliness Level up again. Mio. Mio. Do it. Oops. We'll go ahead and use another one of these for Do fun. It. 